Hey guys, my yeah. name is Emma and today I'm doing the Fairy Friends Tag. But first of all, I just wanted to wish you a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays and I hoped yesterday was as good as it could be for you and your family or whoever you spent it with. Merry Boxing Day, it's not really a thing, I know. And I wanted to share with you my gorgeous fluffy friends. So I have two house rabbits that you're going to meet today. Come here. There we go, come on. Up again, come on. Alright, there's one of you. Where's the other one? Come on. Come on. That's the lid. Come here. Come here. There's one. Hello. Yeah, alright. Alright. You're dropping it. You, you dropped it down my boot. Was that intentional? Zlatan, you're not in shot. Come on. Come here. Come here. We've lost the questions now. Yes, you're definitely in shot because you're on my face. Yes, hello. Hello. You're right. Can you stay? Oh, you're falling. Come on. Get back on mummy. Good boy. Good girl. Okay. Um, I'm not 100% certain how long they're going to stay here for, but we're going to try and do this bad boy. So question number one is what are the names of your furry animals? Yes, that's the treat chin. And the white one who is on me here is toaster, as in like the kitchen appliance. Uh, and then the grey one down here is Zlatan, uh, after Zlatan Ibrahimovic, the footballer. Um, so, <laughs> question two, that's my phone, darling, she can't eat that, is what kind of pet is it and what breed? So as you can see, they are two rabbits. These guys are two gorgeous house rabbits because they live in the house with us. Zlatan's gonna go, most likely. I don't think he can. Toaster might stay for a bit longer. So they're two house rabbits. Um, they are mixed breed. So because of Toaster's ears, she is part lop. Oh, and they're gone. I'll get them back up in a second. <laughs> they won't necessarily stay and cuddle. Um, so they are, um, yeah, mixed breed. Um, we think that they have some Flemish giant blood in them because they are very, very big. Uh, I don't know how much you saw from them clambering on me, but Toaster is uh, 5.3 kilos and Zlatan is 4.2. Um, so that's heavier than your average house cat. So they are very, very large. Um, we have had them. Question three is how long have you had your pet friend? We've had them now for literally just over a year. It's about a year and a month. Um, they're brother and sister. Motorbikes. They're brother and sister, so we got them exactly the same time together. They are exactly the same age. Um, which, no, so question four is how did you get your pet? So, we were planning on getting, me and my partner Andy, were planning on getting um, house rabbits for a while. And we were thinking about getting rescue ones. And I was contacting some of the local rescue areas. Um, but, they were proving really, really difficult to get in contact with, they didn't have many rabbits that were suitable for our house, it was looking to be really really difficult. So we were just like, do you know what, as much as I want to adopt don't shop, this is getting ridiculous, we do need to actually get rabbits within the next century, let's just go down to Pets at Home. So we were in Pets at Home and we were actually looking to make a list of things that we were going to order that night and then we were going to go back the following weekend and buy two rabbits basically, um, and I was just stood there looking at the baby rabbits when this woman um, is stood there next to me and we get chatting and it turns out that she's got two rabbits as well and so does her friend and she's showing me photos and it's all lovely and her friend's rabbits are just her babies and oh aren't they cute and here's a load of photos there's eight of them oh isn't it adorable and then we part ways and then just as we're kind of about to leave the shop she comes running back over and is like I'm a total idiot you're looking for rabbits my mates just had babies or my mate's rabbit has just had babies um, why don't you come and meet them? So we, we we exchanged details, we arranged to go over like the following weekend. I get there and it turns out I've actually taught all of her kids. Um, so this woman had like three kids all under the age of 12. Turns out I taught them all at various different workshops at some point over the past like year or two, um, which was crazy. So like I was completely fine. 
Um, and then we sit down in their living room, we just get shown all these baby bunnies, and um, we've got like, baby rabbits all over us, and I didn't realise this because I was being distracted by the youngest one, but the eldest one, who couldn't have been older than like 12, was actually quietly interrogating Andy to check his like credentials for whether he could have one of our one of these rabbits or not. Like I'd passed through flying colours because I'd taught them about a year ago, so they were like, we know Emma, she's fine. Um, but Andy sat there and this like 12 year old has like a little notepad open, like some sort of old fashioned report and is like, and have you had pets before? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Are there any cats in the vicinity? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Where would the rabbits be living? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So luckily, he passed the interview as well, uh, and we picked these two, who are now curled up asleep. I'm going to attempt to move the camera and answer some of the questions so that you can see them now. Hello, gorgeous. Well, that's Toaster's bum, and that's my beautiful Zlatan's face. Look at his ear. Isn't it stunning? Uh, so, question number seven is... No, question number five, jumping ahead, is how old is your pet? And they are both only just one. Aren't you, darling? Yes, hello. So they turned one in September. So they're still quite young, young guppies. Hello, love. I know. I know. You're gonna be YouTube famous, sweetheart. Well, maybe not. Gonna end up in the YouTube rewind videos. You'd like that, wouldn't you? As your sister's bum. Toaster has her head conveniently right by the hay. Um, they do live in the house with us. This is the living room currently. I can sort of like vaguely pan around. Um, I've not tidied up. For ages, so ignore all of that, and then then there is like a study through that door over there, um, and that's where their hutch is, and that's where they spend a lot of their time as well, and they've got most of that room, and that's like my recording room, and my desk, and all the books. But don't worry, they're nowhere near the books. Hello, sweetheart. Uh, question six is, oh no, my phone's died. Question six is, what is your favourite memory with your pet? <sighs> Can't pick one of those, can we, lovelies? It might be the first day that we brought you back, you know. So the first day that we brought you back, we sat down in the living room. The hutch was in here at that point because we've moved some stuff around, haven't we? We moved it all in the summer. But the hutch was in here and you were tiny. You were both about a third of the size that you are now. And we had all of your toys laid out and there was blankets and various like plastic matting all down on the floor because we weren't a hundred percent certain how litter trained you were going to be and Andy and I just sat on the floor with you for three hours just cuddling and chilling and letting you do your thing and you came over and this one who is shameless and loves people was very quick to be cuddly but we had to wait a little bit longer for you didn't we sweet up wait a little bit longer for you to to come over I know big sigh hey your sister's busy eating hay whilst laying down look at her look at her munching away can we get round to you hello gorgeous you're not really in optimum filming position guys I'm not gonna lie to you this is not ideal for me right Question seven is, what are some quirky things about your pet's personalities? Well, beauty boy here is gorgeous, and this lovely ear that you can see here will either spend its time up like it is here, or it'll flop down like his sister's, and he can kind of pick between. Uh, he's also wonderful and can jump on top of his hutch, which is highly entertaining. Um, he stopped doing it as much now that we've moved the food, but it used to just be an all-you-can-eat buffet for him. Idiot features over here. Um, she loves to climb on things, so some of my favourite quirks and memories of hers is just like her clambering on random stuff. Like when the bookcase was in here, she used to try and climb on that, she's jumped on the computer before, she's jumped over things, she's an absolute nightmare. Um, and she also loves to lick hands, so she's a bit distracted now eating hay, chilling and eating, and I'm playing with her bum, which is the wrong end. But if this hand was closer to the front of her, She'd just be licking away at it. And she doesn't like to just lick, like, the back of the hand. She likes to flip it and lick, like, right in the palm. And she'll get her nose, like, right under and nudge your hand until it turns over. Which is very cute. 
lots of people can do. Both of them are obsessed with my laptop and they love to sit on the keyboard and they have both sent numerous emails before I've been ready to send them by hitting the enter key as they jump on. They've also flicked my screen quite a few times and the first time you did it I didn't know how you did it and it was very hard to get it back. Yes it was. So they are beautiful for that. Um, they're both super cuddly and super friendly even with total strangers. So when people come over the house like friends we don't have a single worry about whether you're going to be scared or not because you like people especially people who give you treats. Yes. Uh, right. Question. Oh, we've got some movement. Look how round her bonny bum is. Cleaning your leg. Yeah, clean that leg. You'll be distracted with your cleaning. Uh, question eight is what does your relationship with your pet mean to you? I wanted pets for absolute years before we got you two, didn't I? Look at that face. Yes, so I grew up with a dog and um, my mum had cats for a bit. See, so you clean his ears. Yes, good girl, baby. You grooming him. Yeah, that's nice. Um, and just for me, like a home isn't complete without something fluffy. Um, the rabbits was actually Andy's idea. He grew up with two house rabbits as well. And they just, they are absolutely the light of my life. Don't hop away from me from being nice to you. Look how round she is. Like, look at that booty. <laughs> no wonder you're the fatso one. My mates think we should change your name to Beyonce. But you're toaster, aren't you? You're my roasty toasty toaster. So yeah, so like, if I'm having a bad day, coming in and just sitting and having a cuddle with them is just absolutely perfect. And they're just flipping adorable. Like, they keep doing cute things. And it's lovely to watch them, even after a year. Where are you going? What are you doing? That's one of their digging boxes over there. Um, and this is left over from an advent calendar that we've got them. They ripped it off. Do you want it? You busy? You busy? That seems fair. You gotta have a bit of grooming. It's pampering time. Uh, what's the next question while you're doing that? Hey. I will probably put in the end of this a like massive montage of a bunch of like videos and photos I've taken of them over the years because there's no way you can't want to see more of these cute little faces. Um, we've got, what are some of the, your favorite pastimes with your pet? Um, to be honest with bunnies, you don't really get to do pastimes or anything like that. They can do some very basic tricks. So this is actually one of their trick boxes. And what I might do is I might put a video together. Do you want this? There you go. Get it again. Where's he gone? Where's he gone? Oh, you, you keep cleaning. There you go. See, told you, she just loves to lick that little hand. Can we get in? Can we find your little tongue? Are you hiding it? Little tongue do? Little tongue do? What if I go underneath? No, can't see it. Can't see that little tongue. Uh, what was I saying? Uh, favourite pastimes. Honestly, it's just sitting and chilling like this. Like, I'll be curled up on the sofa watching a movie and then they'll just come and kind of hang with me for a little bit. Or like, if you come and sit and read on the floor, again, they'll just come over and sort of flop by your leg. Um, I, my house, my study, like, my desk is actually, like, in their workspace, in that, sorry, in their living space as such. So, I just kind of, when I'm sat there, they'll come and sit down by my feet. So, they just really like being kind of close to you to me and to Andy. It's really lovely as well when Andy comes home, they go bolting over to see him because I work from home so much at the moment. Um, they are so used to my presence that like when I come and go, they don't react anywhere near as much. Whereas when Andy comes through the door, they bolt over to go and say, hey, they are penned into here. They're not allowed any further out than that because they did get out once and use our bed as a giant litter tray. You did, didn't you? And the rest of the house has not been bunny proofed. Like we've got, crap wrapped around all the cables in here and everything's kind of put away whereas out in the rest of the flight it's a bit of a death trap for two little fluffy bunnies although having said that you got into the internet cable on friday didn't you maggot yes i'm talking to you miss cutie pie we're still licking those hands love to lick don't we yes we do yes we do i think the final question was what nicknames do you have for your pets and there are countless nicknames aren't there so what nicknames do we have guys we've got the fluffs the fuffles the fuffle puffs um you get called roasty toasty toaster or princess or fatso or git 
or other such insulting things because you are the one who generally does stupid stuff. Can I turn my hand, darling? That's a bit uncomfortable. I know you like the underneath, but I just want to turn my hand over. How's that? There you go. Nope, we're going to go for under, aren't we? There you go. How's that? <laughs> um... Oh, that's another thing that, that they do in terms of like, so rabbits have scent glands underneath their chin and they will chin stuff and he does it especially. He will go around and just chin everything that he owns and if we move it, he'll go and chin it again. And then he'll come over and he'll chin you and it's really sweet. Give your little face tickle whilst we're cleaning. No, don't do that, mummy. You ain't comfy? Thinking about it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Did she barge into you, matey? You're a bully, hey? And now we do a dead bunny impression. You're like, me get your belly. Yes, I know. You two are sweethearts, aren't you? It's called a big bunny flop, isn't it? Yes, it is. Right, should we get the treat thing going? Oh, other nicknames, sorry. Um, he gets called Prince. Or oh, my handsome boy. Uh, Mr. Mister is quite common. Uh, they get called Bubs, Bubsies, um, which I also call Andy, which gets very confusing in the house. Uh, he nudges your hand as well. He's very vocal when he doesn't want to be stroked. So if he didn't want this, he would nudge my hand away. He actually threw a toy at Andy the other day. Andy was sat on the floor. He was sat in such a way that Zlatan couldn't get past and he was nudging his leg and he wouldn't move. So Zlatan hopped away and then came back with one of these. He's got like blocks on string and he had the string in his hand and he came over and just like lobbed the brick at Andy's knee and it was adorable. Right, shall we show them some of your funky tricks that you can do? You get those treats. You found them. Go on. You honking, baby. <laughs> so this is actually a dog toy that we bought them because they've basically done or broken all of the rabbit ones because they're so freaking huge. And the idea is that they're just like spinning compartments and there's some uh, rabbit muesli which is like uh, pea flakes and some sort of pineapple cube type stuff and some seeds and all sorts of exciting things in there and they just have to push them around to try and get to them. So this is this is what they do. And if you listen very closely, you might be able to hear Zlatan honking because he does honk quite often, especially when it comes to food. Don't you, baby? He's the only one of the two who makes sounds. There's a little roasty toss his face. Hello, yes, that's the camera, darling. Oh, that looks like a good one. Well done, Zlatan. Don't let your sister push it out of the way. <laughs> That's a method, isn't it, sweetheart? <laughs> Stop trying to tip it over. Okay guys, so that's all the questions in the furry friends tag. If you have a furry friend, then you're officially tagged and I want to see them and just hear all about them. Have a wonderful reading week. I'll chat to you soon. Bye.